He is the emblematic figure of the health system in Africa. Dr. John Kinga Song, a native of Douala in Cameroon, is the first director of the Africa Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, Africa CDC. Since 2020, he has almost single-handedly embodied the fight against COVID-19 on the African continent. Before this pandemic, absolutely no country on the continent was producing diagnostic tests. And those are severe vulnerabilities that we learned from this pandemic that we saw that at the start of this pandemic, we'd have limited access to diagnostics. We saw that when vaccines were available, we had limited access to vaccines. And those are lessons that we must learn. But I'm very encouraged that now it's about three or four countries are now producing diagnostics. At 61 years old, Dr. John King Song has 30 years of professional experience in public health, a graduate of the University of Yaoundé, he then trained in tropical medicine in Belgium and the United States. He pilots the delivery of screening, tests and protective equipment, coordinates the continental response to the virus and promotes the benefits of barriers, gestures to the general public. In the history of the fighting diseases on the continent that we saw the continent come together, mobilize their own resources to acquire 400 million doses of Johnson & Johnson vaccines. We are very encouraged to know that Egypt is now producing about 3.5 million doses of vaccines. That is the feel and finish, and they're working together with the Chinese. We just heard this week that the King of Morocco has launched a, a large vaccine manufacturing that will not just produce COVID vaccines, but other vaccines. Before taking the helm of Africa CDC, the health branch of the African Union in 2016, Dr. Kinga Song, author of several articles, Virologist by training held the Associate Directorate of Laboratory Sciences and was appointed head of the branch of international laboratories in the global division of HIV, AIDS and tuberculosis. Why it is true that he has a long career internationally, it was during the global coronavirus pandemic that Dr. Kingasong became better known.